All right, this is your time. It's my second YouTube tutorial, well, video really. And they see, I'm a big training fan. I created a design for her Diamonds Forever mixtape for my Twitter and stuff. But anyways, it's not what the video is about. It's about using media outs and contact. So you open FL Studio 10. I also I do this process in Cubase. So if you use Cubase and you use media outs, I can show you how to do that. But first, we're going to get rid of this video. I don't use it. I don't know who does, but anyway. First you're going, you don't need these, so you're going to replace this kit with contact four. And when it loads up, okay, you're going to exit out of it. And you're going to replace the clap hat and the snare with MIDI outs. And then when I do it, you're going to be like, how's you going to assign them? To um, an insert because you can't assign a media app to an insert, it's just not possible. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, first, you go to contact, you'll hit this gear to bring up the settings, process, and info. The first tab you're gonna look at is the settings. Don't worry about anything else, just change the import to either zero or one. I use zero, I haven't. Any numbers to work, but I just use zero. Okay, so you go close that out. Hit the gear again. So now we're going to open four instruments because we got contact, media out, media out two, media out three. So that equals three instrument is equal to play. And so first one, I'm going to open up. This going to open up some random stuff. Full grain. And I'm using Yamaha kit. And, um, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the music slide. I'm just randomly picking something. Maybe minimize these. Say save space over there. We're gonna do the melodies. You know, we're gonna do the bells part. And so our last one instrument is gonna be a kit, which is a drum kit. We're gonna use the hip hop one kit. And so, then, so now you're gonna hit the first mini out track and you're gonna sign that to channel two. Then this one, channel three. This one, channel four. And so, that is how you do that part. So, I'm gonna contact so you can watch the meters right here. Red piano is playing with the other two is not moving. So you're going to highlight the media out one. And then you're going to play the mute and slide. And media out two is going to play the bells. And three is going to play the key. And you see it's moving. All right, so after you've done that, you're going to create your beat or whatever. So we just going to put some random chords in. It might not sound good. Who cares? This is not the point of the video. But okay, so we have instruments in all of them. So now we'll go back to contact. And you're gonna open up the output, which is the Mr. Channels and Contact. You're not gonna edit it in here, but you is gonna add channels. So we're gonna add one, two, three, four. We're gonna add four channels. So just hit OK on it. So now that you got the four channels right here, you can rename them if you like. And I'm gonna name mine just the instruments that's is listed in. I use this name on an instrument one and instrument two on my um, preset that I have. It took me a minute to figure this out because a lot of videos on YouTube it told you how to do it but they half step do it 
it'll show you how to continue to move daily, you know how to do it. But since I do, let me show it to y'all. So now you're going to configure these, which is this button right here. So you're going to assign it to, don't use these, just use the KT Ox 1 and Ox 2, which is the brackets that you just changed. And do them in order, so from 1 to 2, 2 to 3. So you won't confuse yourself. But after you get a hang of it, you can do it any way you like, because I do mine different. I have a preset that I use. Okay, yeah, I did it right. So after you've done that, you're going to close this out, but you're going to open the instruments back up. And you're going to change that to full grid. You're going to change the outputs. You can change this. All thing changes is outputs. Okay, move this slide. I don't have my um MIDI controller plugged up. I use a Sama 59. I mean 49. I don't have it plugged up, but I don't think it changes when you have one plugged up. If you do, you just probably have to change the um the MIDI channels. But I, I don't think you should. I don't think you would have to. But I'll plug mine up in a minute. I ain't got plugged up because it's thundering outside, and I don't wanna. Lose every damn thing. And so after you do that, you can go to the gear again. Instead of going to settings, you can go to the processing tab. And you're going to change this one to one, this one to two, and that one to no, quick, to three. That's what you're going to change it. I don't know why it went up. And you'll change this one to four. Then if I if I was just distracted, so hopefully I did it right, I'm gonna have to do it over. <laughs> and as you see, the meters in insert one, two, three, and four are playing. So now you can add effects to it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to solo to kick so you can hear that I am actually adding a pick to it. And I use the Paramount EQ2. So we're going to play it. The only thing here is a drum. My second day using FM10, I just upgraded. So I guess the mixes are fucked up. But anyway, we're gonna have an EQ2. And see it's moving right here. Understand this is not a mixing tutorial, so if I'm doing it wrong, fuck you, do it your way. But anyways, we gonna keep going. Take four and me out in FL Studio, and I stay again. I played around and figured it out. Hope you use it. It will save your computer memory a lot. It will be less clicking. Mine was clicking a little bit because 
I'm not using the um, ASIO for all. And I'm not buying the interface because I don't need to. I'm just starting out. But as you see, I'm using the direct edge because if I use ASIO for all, it's not going to play because Camtasia is using it. So, this is how you do it. I just done it. And um, I also know how to do this in Cubase 5. I'm teaching myself FL Studio 10 and 9. I have both because I upgraded free with the subscription that I have. And um, I have also have Cubase 5. And I know how to do it in that too. So, it'll save you a lot of memory instead of opening up contact over and over again. Just let it use itself one time. And so, and I'm out. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment and like it. Please don't dislike it. If you don't dislike it, just say why you don't like it. You get it. And I'm out. Alright, I'm back. As I was watching the video before I saved it or deleted it, in, Cam in Camtasia, I noticed why um, MIDI 3, which is, was the drum kit, was playing in Mixer Insert 5 instead of 4, which we assigned it to, it because in FL Studio 10, it automatically assigns the first instrument or drum pad, whatever you put in this first tab right here, it automatically assigns it to Insert 1. So, just change it to the two dots mean the zero. And then as I play it, you'll see, you'll see that now um, the tracks that we're assigning to is playing for the right instrument. So, I didn't want to record all that over, so I'm just going to add this at the end. See, now it starts for moving. Move that back to one. It goes to five. Just move it back to um, one. And if you mixed it or whatever, and you do it like that, you just go here. First, you'll take that. How do you do it? Okay, after you change it, take this, right click it. And see it move to the left. And you gonna move that away. Take this one. And you right click it and say move to the left. So now you see you change that. That was another shortcut that I just showed you. But anyway, 